This has been your teacher Jenny uh, this time. This is now the second part of my video uh, on solving rational inequalities with this kind of pattern wherein you've got an expression, single term on the left side and a zero on the right side. So what if your given is like this? How are you going to solve this rational inequality? Now, I've mentioned that once you have a single term on the left side and zero on the right side, you automatically equate your numerator and denominator to zero. But upon checking on your numerator, your numerator here contains one in there. And one equating that one to zero, that means no solution in there. So if this is the case, we don't bother equating our numerator to zero. Let's try to put our focus here on our x squared minus 4 and trying to factor it out because in this manner, we can only get the critical number in there from the denominator. So equating this one to 0, we'll have there um, x squared minus 4 equal to 0. x squared minus 4 is difference between two perfect square binomial. So we can factor this out. If you don't know how to factor this out, kindly check my video. The link is under. Um, you can find there the difference, factoring the difference between two perfect square binomial. Okay, now factoring this one here, we have x minus 2 and x plus 2. That will be equal to 0. So factoring, I mean equating each of the factors here, we have x minus 2 equal to 0 and x plus 2 equal to 0. Our x here will be equal to 2 and the other one x here is not, e I mean negative 2. But since this is coming from the denominator, so we will be uh, having the symbol here which is not equal to. Okay. So that means to say we are not allowing our x there to be positive 2 and negative 2. Now, moving on, we are going to plot this in our number line. So taking consideration into the critical number as x not equal to 2 and x not equal to negative 2. So plotting that in, I might have here my negative 2 so as to have a space to solve and a positive 2 in there. Now, take note, this is also coming from the denominator, so we'll have everything hollow. And we divide the number line into regions using those critical numbers and taking in <clears throat> region 1, 2, and 3 as the regions to test on. So let's test region 1. Testing region 1, we are getting here value of your x. And in here, we can have negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and so on. So let me just pick on um, x equal to negative 7. So moving on with your original inequality there, we have 1 over x squared minus 4. That will be less than or equal to 0. So take note, even though we have less than or equal to 0 in there, but we are still using hollow because those two critical numbers are coming from the denominator. So moving on, we can now replace our numbers in there on your x. 1 here over x is negative 7. We square that up. Minus 4. And we are testing it whether that will be less than or equal to. Now, 1 over negative 7 squared, that will be 49 minus 4. Will that be less than or equal to 0? So 1 over 49 minus 4 is 45. Notice this is positive. Every positive number is always greater than 0. So that means this is false and this is out of as our solution on your inequality. Next, we go for region 2, testing this out. We know that on region 2, our values for x will be negative 1, 0, and 1. So let me just take 0 and plug in on your x. 
we have 1 over x squared minus 4 less than or equal to 0. Logging it in, we have 1 over 0 squared minus 4. Will that be less than or equal to 0? 1 over 0 squared is 0 minus 4. It's negative 4. Will that be less than or equal to 0? Notice we have here positive over negative. That will always lead to negative. So we have negative 1 fourth, and that is indeed less than 0. So that means we are taking in region 2 as part of our solution. Now moving on to 3, now take note on this. Even though you have now found one solution or one region as part of the solution of your inequality, you do not need to stop there. You need to move on and test out every region in there because sometimes there might be more than one possible region as part of your solution. So moving on with testing your region 3, we have here our x. Let me just get 3 here as my x. And we will be plugging that into 1 over x squared minus 4 less than or equal to 0. So plugging that in, we have 1 over 3 squared minus 4. Will that be less than or equal to 0? So 1 over 9 minus 4, will that be less than or equal to 0? The answer is no because 9 minus, 5, minus 4 is 5 and that is not less than or equal to 0. So that means region 3 is out. So we will now be writing our solution. So the solution for this inequality is we are going to take in region 2 as the only solution in there. And considering our boundary for region 2, that will be negative 2 and positive 2. And considering your graph, that's a hollow. So that means we are using parentheses. And there you go with the solution of your inequality in here. So I hope you're learning something from me. And I'll see you on my next video.